everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry and today I'm going to make a linen top with this pattern. It is from a website called fabricstore.com. It is a free pattern, so if you are interested in making this top, I'll put a link to the pattern's website down below. I would also like to precise that the way I made the top is a bit different from the original pattern on the website so if you would like to make the exact same top from the pattern please go to the website's blog they have a tutorial that you can follow as you can see I already downloaded the pattern I cut the pattern and also cut the fabric into the pieces that I'm going to use to make the top Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to finish the edges of the center back of the top with the serger. And in the pattern, you have to cut the back piece on the fold, but my fabric didn't allow me to do that. So I cut two pieces that I'm going to sew together. After I finish the edges, I'm going to stitch the two back pieces together and leave the back neck opening. I'm going to press the fabric at the collar and I did approximately one centimeter or the twice. I also made a thin tape that will be used as my bottom loop. Then pin the loop into the folded narrow hem and stitch along the neck opening. along the collar of the back piece and sew the button by hand.
Then I'm going to sew the collar of the front piece one centimeter from the edge folded twice. And after that I'm going to stitch along the shoulders and finish the edges with the serger. Press the fabric and then I'm going to add the sleeves to the top. This step as you can see is different from the pattern. I saw my sleeves the other way. I wanted to have these white sleeves kimono sort of look. So I just sew it that way. Finish the edges of the sleeves with the narrow hem. Then I'm going to stitch from the top of the sleeves to the end of the bodice and finish with the serger. I cut the excess fabric of the back piece. This is also different from the pattern. If you would like to have the same design as the one in the pattern, do not cut the fabric and follow the instructions from the block. I'm going to simply finish with a bottom hem of 4 cm approximately for the tops. And this is how the top looks like.
so the pants that I'm wearing in the video are uh, made with the Macos M7786. I already done a tutorial about this pattern. If you would like to check it out, I'll put the link down below. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.